The Apple Vision Pro is too fucking expensive. So let's see what $4,000 looks like. I can to put start writing over here in a document in front of me. I've got email over here on the left and I've got music over here on the right. I was all set up to do some real work, except one big problem. This is typing. Yeah, it's a struggle for anything longer than a quick message. Thankfully, I have never been so happy to see a keyboard. The real game changer for getting work done, adding in a Mac. We are connected. Yes, you get a giant desktop for your Mac apps and you can run Vision Pro apps right next to them. I continued to work in the headset for the next few hours and got a lot done. The Apple Vision Pro is too fucking expensive. So let's see what $4,000 looks like. To put it into perspective, I could buy eight Quest 3s for this price. So how do these ski goggles justify the price? For starters, there are 23 million pixels across both of your lenses. Right about now, you're probably wondering, hey, Jesse, how do I control this thing? Well, there's no controllers, but it uses your eyes. There are sensors that detect where your eyes are looking and you just tap to select it. Kind of futuristic, right? If you're like me, this also makes you wonder what game gaming is like on this thing. Well, I hate to shatter your dreams, but this isn't exactly a gaming machine. I can feel you starting to get pissed off. Let me explain. I think this is more for getting stuff done like video and photo editing or enjoying sick ass movies. However, there is one major feature that the Quest 3 beats the Apple Vision Pro, and that is with its big, pancake lenses. You have a better field of view in the Quest 3 than you do the Apple Vision Pro. But hand in hand, the Vision Pro has much better build quality, but it is slightly heavier. So tell me, are you gonna buy this $4,000 headset that's not exactly for gaming, but more productivity, or are you totally passing? Let me know. No cap, media productions.